So there was uh, someone on my Facebook list who posted um, a comment that he wanted to see if people could repost it. And I thought I'd do one better here and, tr and uh, make a video about it. This post was from a conservative, and I really liked it. I thought it was very inviting, very neighborly. Um, and this conservative happens to be my uncle. How you doing, Duff? Now, I have some praise for this post, but I also have some critiques for it. So I wanted to share this post and share my thoughts on it as well. So here we go. My yard is a safe zone. Face masks not required unless you want one. I always have cold drinks and water. My yard is non-judgmental, non-racist, and non-sexist. I also allow concealed carry weapons as long as you know how to use it. Any family or friend who needs to chat are always welcome. We can talk, share a hug, a laugh, a cry, or just listen. If you're hungry, I'll feed you. I will always do my best to be available. You are always welcome. This is an old school value that has been lost to technology. I'm hoping at least one friend copies and posts it. Okay. So obviously he has some perspectives on certain values, right? And he's he's definitely going towards his freedom and liberty ideology as a conservative when he talks about um, face masks not required unless you want one. That's That's pretty clear there. And concealed and carry weapons as long as you know how to use it. All right, well... That one's a little incomplete, as I'll get to in a little bit, but I want to start with the face masks part here. There's a pandemic on, and if you don't wear a mask, you're inviting yourself and others to get sick. Now, you might think that you won't die from it, you know, and that whole invincible teenager mindset with some folks out there. But listen, there have been conservatives out there who have caught this virus, who didn't take it seriously, and then died from it. And there was one, um, I actually forget the name of this one person, but he didn't take it seriously. He listened to Trump. He thought it was a Chinese hoax. And on his deathbed, he said, I think I made a mistake. And you also have a more notable name in this respect, Herman Cain, who showed up at uh, Trump's Tulsa rally where, it's, where it said that he caught COVID-19 and he eventually spent a month in the hospital and died from it. People in Trump circles, as far as his voting base, are being disproportionately affected by this virus because they're not taking it seriously. And since my uncle's a conservative, um, you know, I do worry about him catching this disease, and as well as his other parts of my family, my niece, etc. Niece, my 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 cousin. <laughs> but um, you know, when you invite people not to wear a mask. You're basically saying if you want to be reckless and irresponsible and you want to take your life in your hands, go ahead and do it. But in this case, in so doing, you're also saying if, if everybody else who doesn't wear a mask wants to do the same thing, okay, it's one big germ fest now. You're going to spread the virus all over the place here. So it's an invitation to be reckless and irresponsible, spread this virus even more, not just to the immediate people who show up at any event you might be suggesting, but also to everybody else they come in contact contact with later. I mean, let's you want to contain this virus, wear a mask, social distance, do what you gotta do, and we'll get through this a lot sooner. It's not it's not a matter of taking away someone's freedom and liberty. It's about public health, it's about common sense. You want to get through something like this, you have to bite the bullet and wear a mask, social distance for now, and we can get this thing under control sooner rather than later. So there's that. Well, now we have the concealed and carry part of it. Oh, and by the way, before I jump to that, I want to add something to my uncle here, and that is that I can say this stuff on COVID-19 because I've had COVID-19. I had it way back in December, you know, before most people even knew that it was, that it was here yet. And, um, you know, a couple of weeks went by, and I was still coughing up a storm, and I took I had to be on a steroid inhaler for my lungs, and it made things a lot better. So I recovered. I am a COVID-19 survivor, but I know it's real. I went through it. So now I wear a mask. I wash my hands. I do I try to social distance as much as I can. And um, myself and everyone else I've been in contact with has been safer because of it. So wear a mask. Okay, so now on to the uh, concealed carry part. Okay. This is always a fun one to talk about, guns, right? Now, I I know we live in a world of guns. You know, we're not going to get rid of them. But 
my thought on this is that well, he is right to some aspect of this of this particular comment where he says, you know, we allow concealed and carry as long as you know how to use it. That's only partially correct. Not only do you have to know how to use a weapon, but you should also know when to use it, when not to use it. Very important. You need to have emphasis on de-escalation. And you should probably know how to take it apart, clean it, put it back together, the different types of weapons, how to disarm somebody with a gun. Um, you have to be able to be psychologically trusted enough with a gun, which again goes back to stress training uh, and again de-escalation. So that's my take on that. If you this is why I did that video about firearms training about a little over a month ago, where I maybe maybe a few weeks ago. I don't, right, anyway, but that's why I did the video about the firearms training. I said, you know, we need we need to have more as a society than just having the right to own a gun, okay, and not just knowing how to use the gun, but you got to be trusted with it. You got to know when to use it, when not to use it. You got to have emphasis on de-escalation. Because otherwise, you're going to have all the types of, of incidents and mass shootings that we have throughout this country. This is why a lot of the world just doesn't want to come here anymore. Because we're such a gun-crazed culture. We're a bunch of rambunctious yeehaws who want to go around shooting up the place. I mean, ugh. you know, it's, it's like that saying, when the cats are away, the mice will play. Well, once we got rid of uh, the British Empire from, from our shores, what do we do? Everything that uh, they, that we weren't allowed to do under the under the yoke of the British Empire, what we just went crazy with it. You know, if if you're a teenager, for example, and you want to have a party, but your parents are just so stuck up they won't let you have a party when they're on vacation, and they think you're trusted enough to uh, to be on your own. You hold a big wild party and then you burn the house down. Well, that's kind of what this is inviting. <laughs> if we don't have something like proper firearms training for goners, you know then the potential for that happening is exponential. And it's already happening. It's been happening ever since this country was established. So I say it's best to take care of this by having mandatory firearms training courses for people who want to own weapons. Treat it like driver's ed. You know, you have to have a license to drive. You got to have a license to own a gun. So why not have mandatory training for gun owners nationwide? And uh, make sure that they are mentally competent enough to own a gun, you know have them undergo periodic psych evaluations every what every five years or so whatever and that way they can be you can be sure that if they have the gun they can be trusted with it if they don't have a gun they failed a psych evaluation or something or maybe they're in a physically and or mentally deteriorating state well sorry but it's for safety reasons so there we go that's my take on that uh, other than that this is a post from somebody who is you know Kind of, he's an average person. He's a conservative, very neighborly, very open, very warm. Um, a little misguided on some of these issues here, but that's a discussion for another time. I really just wanted to flush out the real obvious things on this post uh, because he did want people to repost it, but I thought I'd go a step better and make a video of it. So there you go, Duff. That's my take on your post. <laughs>